All right, let's quickly welcome everybody to yet again another exciting edition of the Madiba official show, the MOS we call it. So please, if you've not subscribed already, kindly subscribe to the channel, please, as you are clicking on the subscription button. You click on the bell, please click for me, please, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Adios, gracias, merci beaucoup. Thank you for clicking on the notification button. Now that you subscribe to the channel and you click on the notification button, anytime you drop a video, you will not be left out. You will be the first person to get the notification of the video that we drop on this channel. We call on this channel and we will make sure that we bring you the latest edition of the local football. But today, as we are seated, we are bringing you good news from the camp of the Black South of Ghana. Going into the World Cup, Ghana and the world at large, almost most of the big clubs, their headache is about getting a goal scorer. Going like this, when you look at almost all the national teams, they can do away with most of the strikers that are on form for their national teams. Brazil, at some point in time, can overlook Giovanni Elba by Munich. They can overlook Patrick Anderson of uh, Patrick Anderson of Barcelona. You look at France; they had uh, strikers abound. They have uh, strikers are plenty that they can decide to overlook any of them. But today, as I'm speaking to you, Brazil, even going to the World Cup, who to lead the line has become a headache because Matheus Cunha is not getting the minutes and he's not firing as the striker of the years, like in 2002 when they had Ronaldo da de Lima who was bang in their goals for them. You look at Holland or Netherlands, that used to have Pierre Van Hooydonk, Roy Mackay, Patrick Clivet. You look at all these strikers, Drude Van Estroy, all of them are out of the stem. Now, Netherlands, when they are playing, their uh, striker is Memphis Depay, who you and I know that is not an out and out striker. So, all over the world, all the national teams, what they are craving for is to get an out and out striker. Only a few of them that can boast of quality strikers nowadays. Talk about Lewandowski of Poland, but then you look at Benzema for France, and that's to mention a few. But the rest, they are using a square peg in a round hole. Hurricane for England, and that will be it. But now, Ghana, for me, I think. Mother Luck is about smiling on us because going to this World Cup, the headache was that who will be replacing the goals of Asamaja in the World Cup because Ghana in all the World Cup that we've been to, you always get a name on the score sheet and you know the name already. Back on or no, Baby Jets will always and always bang in the goals for the Black South of Ghana. But now that he's not there, what we are struggling to replace is the goals of Asamaja. Jordan Pierre you has been doing his bit. But the goals is not forthcoming. We now gotten the likes of uh, Richmond, Boachi Adam, and they will come and go. Nothing will happen. Kaleb Kuman will come. Bernard Tepete. Now the uh, new kid on the block is Felix Afenyajan. But looking at the start of Felix Afenyajan for Roma, even though for the fact that Ghana is lacking in terms of the striking department, for me it's not a start that you can bang your hopes on that he can be the man to lead your lines going to the World Cup because this season he has just two goals for the senior side of Roma and since he was brought into the mainstream team that he was taken out of the junior side of Roma he is not you know, he is here to score a goal for AS Roma so now that we are about getting a striker that have proven in the junior ranks for the English national teams as a matter of fact in some 17 games for the 21 of England he has scored 16 goals for the English under 21. Under uh, 19, he has played about nine games, scoring six goals. So, this a player with a lot of uh, potential and he has a lot of goals in his boots. The player I'm talking about, your guess is as good as mine, is Eddie Nketia. Eddie Nketia is the man I'm talking to you about. At age 22, he is not getting the minutes for Arsenal in the Premier League. He has played about some 14 matches, but look at the minutes, it's about some 256 minutes that he has played for Arsenal. Uh, banging just an assist in the Premier League. But the EFL Cup, that's where he uh, starts. For me, stand tall with the best because playing five games in the EFL Cup, scoring five goals tells you that he knows how where to find the back of the net. So Ghana, if you are to get him and go into this World Cup, and is to transform the form that he has showcased for the junior teams of England. 
eight the black stars and the form that he showed for the Arsenal uh, senior side in the EFL Cup, if he is to showcase it in the World Cup of Ghana, for me, I think you can go far because in tournament, you need a very good and reliable goalkeeper and you need someone that will bang in the goals. So if Edin Ketia is to lead the line for Ghana in the World Cup, and as he said, for the football, beautiful uh, game podcast, that was where he got this interview, the beautiful game podcast, and he said that he is ready to represent Ghana and England. Whatever or which of them that he, uh, comes forth, he will play for them. And Ghana, as you know, we've been knocking and knocking on the doors of Edin Ketia, not only him, and Inyaki Williams of uh, Athletic Club Bilbao. Inyaki Williams, as for him, he hasn't given his answer as to the, as whether he will play for us. His interviews have been scanty, and he hasn't given us any uh, glimmer of hope that he will play for us. But Edin Ketia has said it that he can play for Ghana at any point in time. And for me, I think it's a good news for the Blasters because this is a striker. They have showed it in the junior ranks, as I've said, and I've put in now his stats already. So Ghana getting him going to the World Cup would be a very good uh, news for us because, as I said, going at this time, we can even bring Asamoja and know that we have Junior Manal Gogo of blessed memory. Now, who is there? Nobody. So having him in our ranks, you can still go with Felix Afinajan. He can come off the bench and uh, be an impact substitute in that uh, in the tournament that we're going in Qatar in November. So for me, I think the news of Edin Ketia playing for the Black Stars for me, I think is a good news that Ghana and the supporters to play that comes to fusion and going to the World Cup, the likes of Uruguay, South Korea, and Portugal. They are not just ready. They are not ready because Ghana. Are coming like a guy here still remain the madiba of the share channel we came your way with the good news of edin ketia deciding to represent the mother ghana or the black stars of ghana so please if you don't subscribe already subscribe and you can leave your comment can like and share the video so anything that you think we can add up to the channel to make the channel interesting and exciting please kindly leave it in the comment box so whenever we can we can read it up and make sure that we will rectify our corrections moving forward in the right direction thank you thank you thank you once again please please if not subscribe kindly subscribe and join our channel bye bye gracias merci beaucoup